Oh, sorry, 48. One of the hard things, I suppose, for God, what must be so difficult for God, is that he knows all possible futures. He sees the potential that could have been for every man. He says here in verse 18, Oh, that you had listened to my commandments, then your peace would have been like a river, your righteousness would have been like the ways of the sea, your seed would have been as the sand, etc. Would have been conditional tenses, but no, that could have been, but it was not the case for Judah. Instead, as he says in verse 22, there is no peace for the wicked. They could have had great peace. They could have been so blessed. Your peace would have been like a river, but there is no peace for the wicked, because you're wicked. So that didn't happen. So God looks down from heaven on this earth and on the people upon it. There is so much wasted potential spiritually. Men and women are called in their thousands, probably in their millions, to come to God's kingdom, but they don't want to come. I'm too busy. Oh, I'm caught up doing this, like the parable Jesus tells of the wonderful feast that's made and people are invited and they make silly excuses as to why they can't come. But then, out of all that mass of disappointment, there's an obscure guy like me. And there's an obscure woman like you. And there's obscure little family over there who say, oh, yes, I'm very weak, Lord. I'm not the right one. But yeah, if you're inviting me, uh, yes, I would love with all my heart to be in your kingdom. Wow. Someone said yes. Our saying yes to God means so much because it is located in the context of a whole mass of of a, a majority, it seems to me, who say, no, can't be bothered. Now, of course, what he loves is that we say yes straight away with all our heart and soul, whereas we tend to be rather <laughs> delayed in our response and we keep putting the brakes on ourselves. Look, no, don't do that. There's great potential for you to serve him, to love him, to be his man or his woman in this world. Go that way with your whole heart and soul. 